Yeah, hi. Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to our webinar on Sarthi Angels. Uh, really excited to see uh, angels uh, taking part in this webinar and going forward taking part in uh, angel investments in the startups we bring to our angel network. So uh, we are close to touching 100 angels uh, in Sarthi. By uh, 30th of April, we will be touching around 100 angels on our network. And 40% uh, are from the US and uh, outside India, and 60% are from India. And uh, the startup ecosystem is like reached a zone where it's in that self sustenance. Don't it's that, uh, so that's the beauty of me. Even uh, India, B, India, C is also interested in taking part in this action. So, what if uh, uh, in a uh, low risk manner? So, we are the ones who are kind of playing with the risk and return for. Uh, uh, our angels by bringing curative startups only to uh, our network. So I'll quickly share about Sarthi in at around 10 minutes, followed by Sanjay who will share about the ecosystem and the startups you've already got to save. And then we'll open for Q&A interactions. Uh, there is a reasonable amount of gray also in the startup ecosystem. So all your questions about investment from abroad or investment in uh, uh, SEBI approved, CAT A, CAT B funds, we can, we'll take all those questions, Sanjay will answer them. Yeah. So uh, quickly about Sarthi, you can all see my screen, right? Now, uh, uh, both Sanjay and I have done a startup of our own and uh, we understood that uh, lack of a process or lack of a support system which tells you what to do, when to do. Not exactly, but to some uh, corrective extent. Ne? And that's how Sarthi evolved and Sarthi got created with that intention of, First of all, reducing failure in the startup ecosystem and folks who are ready for success, giving them that big success through funding, be it angel funding or VC funding. And this is our sweet spot, the red box, which you see is, so we want founders who kind of refine their idea, have got a differentiated VP working full time on their idea and some element of proof of concept. My idea, these customers are liking, so a testimonial or a NPS for kind of some element, I'm not saying full. And we want to handhold up to VC funding of say average of million dollars. So that's what we want to play in. And uh, this is a high failure rate, the uh, orange arrows, which you see. So you'll see investment bankers who want to do 3 million and above, who'll say VCs who want to do it. Everybody wants to uh, blow the balloon once it's reasonably blown, but they don't want to touch uh, low blowed balloons or balloons which the chances of holes are higher. So we are playing in this high risk zone and with the objective that our strategy or strategic templates would add value by telling founders what to fill in before going for investment and telling investors also this these startups are ready because there are no significant critical gaps in their journey. So this is what uh, we've created. And of course, there are other players also like in accelerators, incubators. So we are different. We are different in whatever we are doing of all the three programs, which I'll quickly share. So these are some of the... Uh, templates or the sense we use uh, when we assess a startup. So the earlier the startup, the more templates or the more uh, groundwork we'll ask and the questions around the VP of having a, first of all, a clear defined target audience. And then are you giving him or her differentiated value, be it B2B or B2C? And then once you're giving value, are the players who are critical to deliver value inside the organization outside and do they have the competence? And finally, is there value exchange in that business model? So these are two critical areas where we find good amount of gaps. And therefore we tell the founder, work on this instead of uh, sending your pitch to another five VCs, another five uh, angel networks, hoping sometime luck will shine. Luck shines the brave, that is true. But luck also shines the uh, uh, smart instead of the hard worker. Yeah. So that's what we tell the work smart instead of working hard. Uh, when you are ready for investment, you surely get it. And this is what this uh, templates will do. Even if investment is slightly delayed, the template will help you get money from customer. So that's our other part. Then your customer will be paying for what you are doing. And therefore, your ship is kind of getting in a stable zone as you're moving forward. And then once these templates or milestones are crossed, then we get into business development plan, business plan, and pitch. So this is kind of the next level handholding, which we do through our various programs. So we have three programs. And the beauty is all three are feeding into each other. Our first program was, of course, VIP, where we said we'll take VC funding ready startups to uh, micro VCs and VCs. And uh, uh, we start with the self assessment test on our website. So I'll quickly take you to our website. Uh, so we encourage founders to go to our website and fill this self assessment test. 
where uh, uh, you just click this and this form will come where we check for their knowledge about the problem they are solving how much domain expertise they have how much startup expertise they have do they have uh, experiment with multiple pocs do they have some traction what is their runway so if they are kind of only 3 6 months obviously funding is a slightly long drawn process but expecting funding quickly is dangerous both sides the investors also wary of uh, founders who need funding urgently and reverse also is true the founders should not uh, rush after funding if they are in an emergency they have to look at other friends and family kind of domain so this question tells the startup what they are ready for are they ready for vc funding are they ready for angel networks or a minds program so uh, almost 300 plus there are 350 founders who have taken that test they've got an assessment of uh, where they are in their journey and uh, next step is like we do a detailed uh, assessment using our templates as we said we go into the vpbm medium and check if there are gaps if no gaps we give them access to vcs and happy to say that good amount of pitches and success stories through our vip program with uh, sequoia matrix excellent the works because they also like the curated startups we bring to them so that's what vip has achieved till date it's our first program and uh, we've taken only 12 startups till date to the vc network which we have although we've received 350 plus uh, forms on our website so we were rejecting almost 80 percent and we said what more can we do Matab, to reduce the failure rate because the rest of the startups there's no value so that's how in fact uh, july 2021 our minds program was born where we said we created a pool of mentors who not only would invest time, they'll also be giving you money when you become ready for funding. So we are the ones who find the term mentor investor in the startup ecosystem, where we are saying that once you're ready for funding, the first money you'll get from a mentor investor. And we've already done three cohorts, 27 startups have been impacted, and there are various stages. Some are getting ready, some have got ready for angel funding, some have got angel funding also from our network or outside angel network. So it's win-win for everyone, for the investor also, for the startup also, and for us also. So. Uh, We've got 13 mentor investors. I'll share about them later. Now, because of the mentor investors investing their friends and uh, uh, acquaintances saying, well, what, where, what are you doing? Where are you doing? And that's how SAFE was born. SAFE was more an accident. It was not planned. Uh, November 2021, we said that, okay, let's create our own in angel network. And uh, we got quick traction. We reached 50 and I think in 30 days. And we got four startups from our VIP Minds program only uh, till March. In April, we got one startup uh, to our program. And already we've got commitment slash funds of two and a half crores for these uh, five startups. And we plan to introduce 40 plus all curated startups to our safe angel network. Now this gives confidence to everyone. The startup also said, okay, I've got an angel network. Once I get ready for funding, the angel also that these are curated startups. So we've assessed them on enterprise strength and returns potential, and then we are bringing to you. So the probability of success is higher and marrying to our larger vision of reducing failure in the startup ecosystem. So that's how all three programs feeding into each other. Angels are nowadays introducing startups to us. Angels are becoming mentor investors. Mentor investors are entering new angels. So like it's kind of feeding into each other for us and happy to see, like we did an NPS survey with the startups and we got almost a 62% NPS from the startups we've impacted. So I'll quickly take you through some of the startups. You've got almost 40 startups on our website. Um, majority are getting ready for funding. We're not in a rush to bring them, but they are across domains. They are med tech startups, health tech uh, startups, uh, uh, HR tech is there. I think they are across domains. Ed tech is there. Gaming startups are there. So we've got across domain startups in various stages. Mental investors are working hard to make them get funding. The Expressions is the one who's already raised funding from SAFE. Compact also has raised funding from SAFE. Compact is FinTech. So we've got across domain startups because strategy is domain agnostic uh, beyond a point. And that's what we are filling in the gap for the startups in the early stage where the risk is also higher. And there are few players who are handholding the startups in that early stage. Yeah, so this is Team Sati. Uh, this is my next and last slide, and then I'll hand over to Sanjay. So we are 13 of us now the, uh, with different uh, expertise. So Arjun is a patent attorney. Adil comes from the marketing background. Sanjay is an angel investor. Come, uh, uh, tech, techie who's got an investment background. Surya, XEO, NSR. So we are 13 of us now, four of us based in the US. And we proudly say that once we are confident, we'll give you any link up under the sun in two steps because we are 13 of us with different uh, tech or uh, CXO level experiences. And therefore, anyone under the sun is technically two steps away from Team Sarthi. So this is about Sarthi, the R3 programs. I'll uh, hand over to Sanjay to share about the angel network, uh, angel ecosystem in India and about the startups who already brought to SAFE. And then we can open for Q&A and interaction and know more about you also. 
Over to you, Sanjay. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Girish. Uh... So everyone can see my slide? Yes, Sanjay, we can see your slide. Okay, great. But uh, thank you, first of all, everyone to uh, join the, this call. Uh, we have been thinking about uh, this call for quite some time and uh, at least wanted to make sure that uh, uh, the new angels who have joined, they know a little bit about Sarthi and us also, that what we do and then uh, uh, we also know a little bit about uh, each one of you so that uh, we can know exactly what you are looking for and see whether whenever we have the right opportunity, uh, we can uh, introduce you to those startups specifically for you also. Uh, anyway, so uh, I think all, most of you have seen the Shark Tank. So I think uh, definitely investment is not as easy as Shark Tank where uh, uh, the investor, uh, uh, the startup comes pitch for a couple of minutes and then investor uh, writes a check for a uh, few lakhs kind of thing. It's, it's it's much more complex, much more evolved kind of a process. Uh, then. So the question then comes is that how do we select the right startup? Uh, and uh, I, I see here there's a mix of uh, angel investors that some of them uh, know, may or know about the angel ecosystems and the startup ecosystem. Some may be uh, new to the startup ecosystem. So I try to uh, cover the little bit of our startup ecosystem also. So it may be a little bit of uh, repetition for those who know about it, but uh, we'll quickly go then into the Sarthi angels also. And then the, I think the ultimate objective is that how do we make money from the startup ecosystem, correct? That's what uh, the whole purpose of why we are in, in this call, no? So let me tell a little bit about startup ecosystem in, in India. So now we are the third largest startup ecosystem in the world, and which is a significant achievement. And we are also the fastest growing at 12 to 15% annually. These are all numbers which have come from uh, government website, startup India, go.in kind of thing. Uh, there are about uh, 61,000 startup as of uh, uh, January, 2022. Three to four new startup tech startup every day, I think it starts. Uh, and I'm sure there'll be a couple of them will be closing down in six months, one year, but there, it's good that there is a lot of traction is there. Last year, it was about 42 billion was raised from startup ecosystem for the startup ecosystem. Uh, and then it was a very significant year. Of, and this was a record uh, in terms of an amount which was raised in 2021. But more importantly, I think the new trend which is set up is that uh, the next two slide one is that 11 startup went for IPO. I think that has not happened in the history of uh, stock market where startup and went, went for IPO. I know those days when uh, startup will is asked how you are going to give us an exit as an investor. And if some of them will say IPO, I think the investor will live, laugh it off. Kind of that was, uh, it was not expected that startup will last till IPO kind of thing. You know, they may get merged, they may get acquired, but not many will go. And in, I think this is the first year when 11 of the startups went for IPO and that Rob Markin and Make My Trip and Paytm and others are there. Uh, 42 unicorns born in 2021. Again, this is a record in terms of uh, number. Unicorn is uh, just for those who, who is not aware about it, is that if you got a valuation more than a billion dollar, then it's considered a unicorn startup. So, so far, end of 2021, there are about, in the history of uh, startup ecosystem, since the startup has started for say 15, 20 years back, there are total 70, 75 um, uh, unicorns were there. Out of that 42 uh, came in uh, only in 2021. So before that only 30 uh, startups went into unicorn st uh, status for many years. And, and then in one year we had a 42 unicorn which is about less than 10 days uh, we have one unicorn. And uh, the year for 2022 also in first quarter it started very well. So about 13 startups has already unicorn in 2022. Uh, uh, so so which, which is pretty good. And then uh, total number of angels uh, so far in India is about um, close to 26,500 plus, and it's also pretty growing rapidly. And the reason for this growth is, uh, as you see on all on top, all the, uh, what you have from IPO, unicorns, there's a lot of buzz is there. So people are looking at startup ecosystem as one of the viable asset class. No? So what does the Sarthi angels means? So, Right, currently, we don't have any fee structure uh, for the joining the Sarthi Angels group. Uh, 
as girish was mentioning that by end of april we will reach 100 we want to see how do we uh, um, get this fee structure in place but we want to also be cognizant those who have been angels with us uh, in the initial days uh, we want to make sure that uh, uh, we can somehow uh, give them a uh, favorable uh, preferential treatment no so if you want any of your friends family to join i think this is a good time for them to join because right now we are not charging any fees just for comparison sake uh, other uh, angel networks they have about 50000 uh, uh, annual uh, fees uh, and it varies some of them has got uh, a carry what is a carry is that when you exit out they get a profit they get up to 20% of that profit uh, they, they take from there uh, some of them also has got the uh fee plus uh, whatever amount you invest 1 to 2% they charge that uh, money also uh, so currently we are not doing any of those things so there are various models are there uh, but we we are not charging anything to angels just to make sure that we have a, a, a robust angel ecosystem before uh, we can think about uh, any of those things so any of one uh, of you uh, know your friends family who are interested uh, maybe it is a good time for them to join right now Uh, because eventually in next uh, couple of months we would like to uh, review this uh, fee structure no uh, how does we go and get the deal flow i think the primarily we had started this uh, sarthi angel as giris explained that vip and minds program so vip is a mature uh, startup which has got about couple of crore revenue annually minds is a uh, mvp stage plus little bit of revenue and then we groom them for the angel ecosystem Uh, so that's that's how we we are and we says that we'll uh, use our platform because many of you are as a friends and family of uh, mentor investors and uh, or the angel investors no we thought that we'll get our startup which we have built it for at least for 6 month plus kind of thing no towards that in uh, again organically what we started getting is some of the angels who has invested in startup ecosystem the example is i exam b which is currently uh, open for the investment Uh, one of the angel is already has invested in the startup, uh, and then he said, "Okay, this is good for the Sarthi platform. Why don't you also put in that?" So we evaluated them. We we like the startup, and then we put it on here. No, so we have started getting these referrals and angels, so that we we started getting uh, we started putting that also, and the probably we have been the in unique in terms of angel network where we started getting the secondary deal. What is the secondary deal? Is that existing uh, investor wants to. Uh, cash out some of their small portion of their uh, uh, investment and and they want to put it so currently there is no efficient mechanism for that and uh, homepeg was the first one where we got this uh, request and we had put it and we got overwhelming response so this is very unique which i have at least i have not seen i have been in angel network for at least now last 7 uh, 8 years i have not seen that a lot of secondary deals are coming but we started getting that kind of uh, request also no and these are all mature good startup we evaluate them and we we then we put it for the angels no we also uh, provide guidance to the first time angels so far we have been just doing this uh, whenever somebody has any query they kind of reach out because we we know that in our angel network there are a lot of first time angels are there so more than happy to have any one on one discussion with them in case if they they need any information uh, on how to go about angels there are a lot of uh, jargons are there uh, so and sometimes we we use that jargon without realizing that uh, uh, there are first time angels and they may not be knowing about it so please reach out to me in case if you uh, uh, have any any questions around there don't hesitate to ask and we can use some of today's time also to uh do a q and a and then answer some of those questions also no uh we have a, a low check size we are kind of trying to reduce it further one of the challenges that we want to make sure that the there is not cap table there is a capital table where list of uh, investors are there sometimes founders are reluctant to have a very long cap table so so far we have put 5 lakhs and 10 lakh rupees is a minimum check size um, uh we are next start of which we are bringing it from minds program probably will reduce that further uh, maybe up to an up to 3 lakhs kind of thing uh, because it's the first time they are investing so they have little uh, leeway in terms of getting little bit more, uh, num- more number of investors no so so that uh, we like to see whether uh, we can get more response because that uh, check size is small minimum ticket size is 2 and up to 3 lakhs no typical ask from the uh, startup is about 50 lakhs to 1 crore in on our platform uh my recommendation to uh, most of the angel is that uh, do a portfolio approach if you are only 
want to invest in one startup, that would be a bad strategy, in my opinion. Uh, do invest in uh, if you want. Say for, if you have fifty lakh rupees, better to invest five five lakh in ten startup versus investing fifty lakh in one startup because startup is a risky asset class. Uh, uh, and then the startup which works will give you 10x, 20x, 50x returns kind of thing. But there are startup failures also will be there on, along the way. No? So it's better to spread out uh, in, uh, your risk instead of putting all eggs in one basket. No. Uh, what our expectation is that uh, to invest at least in one startup every year, because uh, uh, I, I think all of you also are uh, getting WhatsApp group message and uh, uh, putting a lot of effort in going through that. So we, we expect at least you can invest a minimum is five lakhs. So even if you invest one startup every year, uh, that would be beneficial to you also. And then you are utilizing the platform also. So that is only my request that uh, whenever you get the chance, maybe at least do one investment. And we will have about 25 to 30 startups minimum uh, every year. No. So what is our process? No. So startups which are coming from uh, mines and uh, uh, VIP programs. So since we would have worked with them, we evaluate them. Uh, and uh, then when we think it's the right time for them to invest, uh, we, we take them uh, to Angel platform. Another thing which we do for the Minds program specifically, which is early stage startup, uh, all the mentor investors money also gets invested along with the angel investment money also. So we also do, do take uh, part participate in those early stage startup. And then we also do investment uh, along with the angel investors with the same terms and conditions. There's no change in terms and conditions. No? Uh, so, but those startups which are coming from our referrals, uh, we would like to uh, be comfortable and uh, evaluate that there, it's the right startup for our angels. No? So that this is a process for that. So first we do a strategic assessment of the startup. So we, we do about uh, three to five hours kind of a process. We have it where we uh, talk to the founders, uh, ask lots of questions from our, our, our strategic framework and, and do see that whether there's a value, value proportion is right, whether the business model is right, what kind of traction they have, how their financial projection, what kind of opportunity they have it, no? So once we get convinced, uh, and this also is done by not the one single person. We have a two angels or two mentor investors to assess the startup readiness. So any one of you are interested in your area of domain where you are expert, you always look out for uh, people. Uh, for example, we, we have recently a startup which was an ophthalmic uh, space and uh, they had come on, uh, uh, on the Shark Tank also. So if somebody is interested in home healthcare or something, do let me know and then I will uh, definitely involve you in some of those startup assessment also. No. Uh, so we uh, then we launch on the safe platform. Some of uh, many of you would have seen that one pager about the startup. It's just to uh, assess the initial uh, interest from the angel group, and and once we see that there is sufficient interest in uh, interest is there, we ask founders to pitch on the uh, uh, on Zoom call, and then uh, during that pitch, it's twenty minutes of pitch, forty minutes of Q and A, and sometimes we also get uh, queries after the pitch and after the uh, that uh, Zoom call. Uh, in email, then we try to answer all the queries which are there by the founders. And once that is done, we ask for the commitment. And uh, it's a we call it a soft commitment, but I think that soft commitment doesn't mean that uh, um, in the end you will probably will decide that it's not the right uh, startup for you. I think what we expect is that the evaluation, the business evaluation has been done uh, during this process of uh, founder pitch asking questions and QA. Once you are convinced that, okay, this startup is right for your investment, you only want to uh, make sure that there is a uh, legal and uh, financial uh, aspects are right. Uh, so then that's why the you make a commitment. And once we get 80 to 100% of the commitment from the uh, angels, we start the due diligence process. And this is very critical because for due diligence, startup pays the money. Uh, for the third party, you know, so we we have our third party found, uh, found uh, partner. They do a legal and financial due diligence of all their uh, documents, and it's a it's a very very uh, involved process of CA, CS, the lawyer, everybody is involved, and it takes anywhere from two to four weeks depending upon uh, how many transactions startup has got. So we also check the uh, their uh, contract and everything. Uh, since uh, we are, they are putting so much of effort, the startup expects that the whatever commitment is made, and if a due diligence process comes green, then uh, they will at least get those commitment made kind of thing. No, 
so so once green flag is received from third party we initiate that call for money that uh, okay now the money needs to be paid we also share that uh, dd report to uh, all the investors who have shown interest for the particular startup and sha is the shareholder agreements get signed and then the share certificate process starts so that's the kind of a process which we have from the angel investment perspective and then whole process takes anywhere from uh, 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 one to three months we are trying to reduce that time frame but uh, dd process does take more time and we don't want to uh, do a quick and dirty job on dd so we do give a time to our partners to do a thorough thorough due diligence job no but we we are looking at the options where how can we reduce the time frame of uh, the three months it seems to be a little longer so we will like to do at least in two months time frame no uh, how do we evaluate the startup potential no so i think this is where some of you would like to see that how the team commitment is there, team structure is there. So sometimes whether startup has got the right team or not, whether they have the technology guy, whether the marketing guy, whether they have a business guy or not. Uh, so I think that we look at it, how the commitment is, is it a full-time founder or a part-time founder are there? What are the scalability uh, opportunities are there? Is that founder have got growth ambitions or not? How big the market opportunity is, or is it in a niche domain is there? And obviously the timing, you know, is this the right timing for the for this startup to go for uh, for for the fundraise or not? So this is where uh, the uh, six parameters through which we check it out. And I, and I will say that uh, some of you also who are interested when the, you look at startup uh, pitch, we may want to just check it out through this uh, lens whether it's the right startup for your investment or not. No. So typically, what uh, we use uh, terms on safe. Uh, safe is a Sati angel for entrepreneurs. So it's, I think there's a safe note also is the number 12, but there's two different. So this is acronym for our angel network. Uh, so angels are all of us. Uh, VCs are venture capitalists. They do a little bit uh, larger round. Uh, we do typical to 50 lakhs to one crore. They do more, about a million plus. No? So we also help startup to find the VCs also no? after doing the angel note. Pitch deck is that. Uh, uh, investment pitch deck is where the startup founders comes and then have a presentation where they tell why investors should invest in my startup. No, ask is the total money which startup is looking to raise through that uh, uh, angel funding. No, valuation is a company valuation. So the lower the valuation, the higher number of share you get. The higher the valuation of the company, the lower number of share you get. So if you if the company valuation is ten crore and uh, and if you are putting one crore into the startup, then obviously ten percent of the equity you will get. But if company valuation is 100 crore, then only 1% of the equity you get it. No? So how does the valuation is happen? Obviously, there are uh, initial stages. There is, it's more of art than uh, science. But uh, uh, the, the more the mature startup, the third rule is the more the valuation is because they are, they are more mature, there will be more traction, there will be more revenue will be there. The lower the, uh, the, the, the earlier the stage of the startup, the lower the valuation is there. So if you're looking for a startup to get the more number of share, more percentage of share, then obviously you would like to look at more early stage startup, where if you if they really click, then since you have a higher percentage, you can get higher multiple of profit also. Uh, but then you are taking higher risk also. Uh, and in case of mature startup, maybe the multiple may not be that, but maybe the risk also proportionately kind of uh, gets reduced. My advice is that you have a portfolio approach, which I was suggesting maybe some few would be more early stage, few would be more mature startup, uh, so that your risk is again gets kind of uh, spread out. No. Uh, in the valuation, there are two parts of the pre-money and post-money. So taking the same example of 10 crore is a valuation. So 10 crore is got as a pre-money valuation before the fund is raised, whatever the valuation is there. And once the fund is and uh, comes to them, that is one crore rupees. So it is 10 plus one is a post-money valuation. So post-money is equal to pre-money plus the ask. Ask is the total money which they ask for. No? And if assuming that they are going to get that all money. No? Dilution is that. Uh, the equity which gets uh, uh, given to startups so that uh, other other existing co-founders, uh, their equity will the percentage will get diluted. Correct? If you have got 10, uh, 10 crore rupees valuation is a one crore you are bringing. So suppose that 10 crore was 100% of share was with the founders. And now they are, since they have to raise another one crore, you have to give money. So then we say that uh, approximately 10% uh, dilution has happened uh, for the founders. No? Soft commitment, I explained to you that uh, before the due diligence process starts, uh, you commit certain amounts. Based on that, we see there is the interest from the angels, and then we start the due diligence process. In due diligence, it is typically legal and financial due diligence. Uh, Tranches is sometimes uh, 
if it's the amount is large, then um, on the performance base, there is a tranche will be that, okay, you will be given 25 lakh rupees now. And then uh, after a few months, if you show us uh, good traction, then another 50 lakhs. But that typically that doesn't happen in the angel investment. It more happens in the VC round no, where the uh, amount is larger. Safe note is a simple agreement for future equity. Now, this is uh, uh, a kind of innovation, I would call it for the startup ecosystem, uh, especially for early stage startup. Because what happens in early stage startup, as I mentioned to you that uh, since their revenue is just started, uh, valuation, it becomes extremely difficult to uh, predict it because uh, startup will say that, do my valuation based on the future cash flow. Whereas investor will say that, no, that, that future cash cash flow, we have not seen it. So it's more about what you have done in the past, that kind of will determine, no? But in mature startup, that works, that past uh, thing, but because here the data is not enough. So, so what we, the safe note does is that safe note says that, okay, there's no valuation is done in uh, uh, angel round. Uh, so uh, typically we have a CCPS, which is a convertible preferential share. So you get a preferential share uh, of, of uh, say 1000 rupees. And then uh, uh, if you have got a one lakh rupees, you get hundred shares of preferential share. And then startup says that, okay, within the first uh, next two years, uh, I will uh, need to raise another round, which will be a VC round. And VC seeing an institutional investor, uh, they will do a valuation. Since you have invested earlier, I will give you a discount on the valuation, whatever VC does it. So, so for example, if, if I raise the money with, from a VC in next one year, then I will give you 20% discount on the whatever the valuation VC does to convert your preferential share into equity share. So giving example, say VC is taking one share in thousand rupees, I will give you that share in 800 rupees and convert your preferential share into equity shares. If I'm doing in, if I can't do in one year and if I'm doing in two years, then I will give you a higher discount of say 30%. So if VC is taking thousand rupees, I will give you 700 rupees. So this is where the valuation um, valuation uh, discussion goes into the next round and it kind of win-win for both for the angels also and for the startup also. And this is typically used in the angel round, this safe note. And uh, we also intend to use most of our early stage startup, this safe note, no? Okay, this is a little bit about uh, so far journeys as uh, Girish mentioned that November we started our journey. So end of April would be six months. So we are close to six months. Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, so currently we are uh, expression. It was a mind, uh, mind startup of cohort one startup. Uh, uh, it's a ed tech platform for conversational English where uh, uh, they work with a, a blue collar job uh, and they're also working with Cummins and Bajaj of the world uh, and then uh, help them from the uh, job perspective also. Uh, so they are indoor based, focus on tier two, tier three town, huge opportunity. Um, they already have raised close to uh, two, two crores. So today only I had a call with them. Uh, uh, we are also participating in angel round. We mentor investors also are investing in this. Uh, uh, the round is just coming to close because the due diligence process is done for them. Uh, they also, so our uh, third party partner also said due diligence is that they, they were given a green signal for it. it's an investable opportunity. Uh, so anyone, if you are interested, just uh, contact me after uh, this call. So I will share with you some uh, the earlier pitch and everything and then uh, you can let me know if you're invested, uh, you want to invest in this startup, no? but it's kind of closing in next two days. No, uh, I exam B is a, a little bit more mature startup. Their uh, annual revenue is about uh, a million dollar. Uh, they want to uh, have a $2 million uh, next year. Uh, it's about 15 crore rupees. Uh, they focus on the banking recruitment, the banking uh, exam, RBI, uh, all the government jobs exam. Uh, and uh, they're doing very well. Like for example, RBI exams, 50% of the uh, seat which was filled by an RBI exam was filled to people who I exam B, uh, who had taken I exam B subscription, no? Um, very solid team in both expression and I exam B. I exam B has got ISB, I uh, with 15, 20 years of experience people. Uh, due diligence process is about to start. Um, uh, we are just uh, looking at a slightly bigger amount uh, uh, to be raised. So uh, he's also looking at some external and the safe platform both. Once we have the amount in mind, he already got three crore rupees um, uh, 
com uh, soft commitment. He is looking for another few crore rupees, and then we'll start the diligence process in another couple of weeks. Uh, minimum ticket size for this is 10 lakhs. Expression is minimum ticket size is 5 lakhs. Uh, this is 10 lakhs because it's slightly uh, bigger uh, round. So he didn't want it too many uh, found uh, angel investors on his cap table. His already cap table is kind of long. So uh, it's a ticket size has become 10, uh, 10 lakhs. Again, if you're interested, uh, do let me know and then uh, I can share more information about uh, iExamB also. No? Uh, where my specs, blue elements, cell bioscience, all are mines code company cohort two, cohort three companies, uh, uh, where my specs is already, we have evaluated them from the angel platform perspective, given them a go ahead that they can come on the angel platform. Final stages of uh, preparation, so you should see in next few days uh, about where my specs. Blue element, again, maybe a couple of weeks away, we are uh, looking at it and then uh, deciding whether uh, they need to do a little bit more work, or, but it, right now, so far, all the indications are is positive. Sal Bioscience also is in a similar uh, space. Home pack uh, is uh, we just concluded the secondary fundraise. Uh, they want to do primary fundraise uh, uh, of about 50 lakhs to 1 crore. Uh, what we have told him that uh, in, uh, since uh, they are doing a much larger round with uh, uh, others, so we said we, once we get a due diligence report, we will open this for the uh, uh, our uh, angels no? along with the DD report. So we are waiting for that. It should take another three to four weeks, and then uh, we'll uh, get you will get this also on the platform. And others are then in the various assessment stage. Too early right now to uh, disclose those names because we need to convince ourselves first before we bring it to the angel platform. No. Uh, what we have closed, so we, we closed two things. Home pick for secondary sale is closed now. We are going to final uh, uh, the money, also has been. Uh, uh, moved into their capital account and now uh, it's going through the process of SHA and signing the and getting the share certificates. No, uh, Stitch Bridge Round was done. Uh, that was one of the first company where we did this uh, thing. Uh, it's in a D2C space uh, and and now they have become SOSV Incubity. SOSV is one of the world renowned uh, uh, accelerator program and and they help you to take you to hundreds of VCs uh, uh, and and they are. Uh, be part of that, they are pitching with VCs and uh, if everything goes well, people who are invested in the stitch, they will probably get some exit soon, no? So let's see. CCAP was, uh, was dropped. We, we got some response from uh, 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 Angel Investor. It's a very early stage, but one of the first, uh, I think the first one to go on our platform. Uh, we got good response, but the, uh, the founders were looking for the larger sum from uh, combined together, not only from uh, uh, angels only, uh, but they were also looking for about a uh, uh, million dollar kind of thing. And then uh, and then we only got it from our side and then VCs, we didn't get it uh, that much traction. So, so we kind of dropped it because we said, okay, if VCs are not coming, then uh, it will be a little bit of risk for our angels also. So we dropped that uh, opportunity. Travel Buddy, uh, we didn't get a lot of response from angels. Uh, so we dropped it that. But then uh, after that, successfully, they were able to raise one crore outside the safe platforms. Again, some lesson here, some message here that uh, sometime I think uh, uh, opportunity may get lost if we, uh, if we don't evaluate properly because they, they were able to do it in, after we kind of dropped it in a, in a month, they were able to raise uh, one crore rupees. No? So that's the kind of a story so far and hopefully it will evolve further in next six months. No? So happy to take any questions. No? And uh, I will write my email also in case if anybody wants to reach out to me, you know. Are we open for questions? Thoughts? Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, my name is Vinayak uh, Midi. I'm, I'm joining from uh, uh, Oklahoma, USA. Uh, uh, first of all, thank you for uh, the opportunity, and uh, well, you know it, it was it was good. It was a good uh, presentation, so appreciate that. Uh, we, we we are a couple of us. Uh, you know, we're uh, getting into the VC and uh, angel industry right now. Uh, I'm working as a director of data science in uh, at, at a company here, uh, Legal Shield. 
Vinayak, we are losing you. We are not able to hear you, Vinayak. Your network may be a challenge, Vinayak. Just come closer to the mic. Okay. Uh, is, is it better now? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll probably uh, drop in an email with my questions. I'm, I'm traveling right now, so I may not be. My network may not be as yeah, strong. Vinayak, I'm, I'm not able to hear you. If your voice is breaking, maybe can you just type your question so maybe I can just we can just hear the question no? because I'm not not able to hear you any word. No. Sure. Anyone else while Vinayak is typing? A good number of first-time angel investors, Premji, Tharesh, happy to take any of your doubts, questions, thoughts. Yeah, I know it's uh, first time, but happy to answer any doubts. Hi, uh, Sanjay and Girish. Um, thank you so much for the time and effort you guys have put in. Are you able to hear? Is there any echo? Yes. Hello. Yes. I can hear you. Hello. Yeah, we we'll are able to hear you, Premjit. Okay. Yeah, Sanjay, my question is, see, I'm, I'm new to this, you know, so all these years I've been on the other mutual and other uh, through portfolio advisory services through various banks and other institutions. So right now my question to you is, so let's say as an investor, so let's say I start with a 5L or a 10L and then... Mm -hmm. Um, looking at the startups and some of these um, current scenarios in Bangalore, uh, where each and every person would like yeah. to uh, be an entrepreneur and come with a startup. So my question to you is, so when I say I, I invest uh, with best case scenario, um, based on your advice, I invest and then what's the time horizon I, I need to look at uh, because um, uh, it shouldn't be, you know, after a year, I just come back and say that, look, what's happening? I need to exit and all. So what, what, what's the time horizon I need to look at? I need to just sit back and relax uh, once I invest. Sure, sure. No, I think it's a good question. So typically, I think uh, exit happens in three to five years. If you are lucky in two years. But uh, so what happens is that, uh, and, and a little bit about uh, how the, uh, fund, and the funding uh, thing works is that so startup first gets money from their friends and family, correct? So friends and family bets on the founders because they know the founders, uh, the parents will give money that, okay, uh, do something about and then uh, your innovative ideas and support them. After that, it comes to angel round where the first time founders are getting uh, money based on their ideas and the traction which they have got it. So it's more of a professional money, I call it. Uh, and that is where we invested. And after that, um, uh, the VC round starts, so pre-series, series A. So typically, uh, when is the VC round, not the immediate round, but the following or a phone. Or a, so if it is the next round is a series pre-series A, after the series and series B, but typically either in series A or series B, uh, the uh, VC will say that there are a lot of small, small investors out there. Uh, they would like to buy them out and then only uh, have a kind of a little bit of controlling stake kind of thing. You know? So, so that's when the exit happens uh, from that. So if you see a cycle of uh, uh, investment is typically it is uh, 12 to 18 months. Uh, so if it 18 months, uh, every every 18 months, the new round happens. So it, it's a, if it's 18 months, then in three years, two rounds happen. So th three years is a good time to look at three to four years when the exit will happen. Thank you, Sanjay. One more question. Uh, are we running yeah. out of time? No, no, you, you can, you can, you can. Ask. Okay. So the other issue is, see, um, uh, see, I was on the other side, right? So doing some management consultancy for some of the startups, especially on the IT side in Bangalore. Uh, so one mm -hmm. of the issues which I'm saying is, you know, once they raise the funds, right, you know, uh, see, 
typically the initial years, you know, they just need to slog and there's a lot of hard work, especially from the founders. So mm -hmm. how do you, as Sarthi, how do you make sure that they, um, so they have an initial plan, right? So they present to you and they are very well aligned and focused um, to get that uh, goal within the time frame. what we are looking at. Yeah, so first of all, I think what is the role of a Sarti? Sarti role is to identify the right startup and then present to Angel and then Angel evaluates on their own merits because each Angel would have a different uh, objectives kind of thing, correct? So if you look at it, how Sarti evaluates it, no? so um, Girish had uh, shared that pyramid, correct? Value proposition, business model. So this is all we see it. And on top of that, we see the founder's credibility. Is this founder is credible enough uh, where we can trust it and then they're going to deliver it, no? So these are the two parameters on which we, we put it with the angel platform. Uh, and once we get convinced, okay, this is the right uh, startup for our angels, no? So, so after that, uh, we, we all hope that the startup will uh, uh, do the right way, but there are so many different reasons are there for startup, uh, how it will evaluate, correct? It can, it can really uh, shoot up, it can really go down, it's because for any other company, correct? For, for any IPO company also, you will see uh, same thing, same thing is happens, correct? Because business is dynamic, no? So what we can evaluate is, is, what, is what is available right now, and what is two things available is what is the startup, uh, uh, the idea, business proposition, model, what is it there? And what is the current traction is there? And the second is the founding team, no? So based on that, we we take the call and then we we put it with the angel investors, no? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. yeah anyone else? Hi, uh, hi uh, Sanjay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, can I say? Yeah, please go on. Go on. Uh, should I? Harish here. Yeah, yeah, Harish, go ahead. Yeah, can you just explain about the mentor, you know, role and all that angels and mentor, you know. Okay, okay, no, so the men so mentor program is a separate program called Minds. So those who are interested in the mentor investment program, no, so that is a program where what we do is we take the early stage startup. Uh, we tell early stage startup that uh, in kind of a unique program where there is no uh, time frame. So unlike uh, any incubator accelerator program where they have a three to six month time frame, and after six months uh, they have a pitch day, and after the pitch day, they uh, uh, out of ten, two company will get it, eight company will go back to uh, market, no, and they are still looking for funding. So we our program and minds program, what we tell them that funding is guaranteed as long as uh, you meet certain milestones. And we are there to support you to meet your milestones. Uh, so that's where the mentor role comes in. The, another unique feature of this program is that mentor is has a skin in the game. What I mean is skin in the game is that mentor has to invest a small amount. So if we say, if you want to become part of this Minds program, the 5 lakh rupees is minimum which mentor has to invest, not in one startup, but across that cohort, all the cohort startup. No? So once you do that, mentor becomes uh, also the so startup and mentor work together to make sure that the startup becomes successful. If startup is not successful, mentors will not get money back. So for example, expression where uh, Girish and I both have put the money as mentors. No, Now if expression doesn't become successful, then our money also is kind of online. No, And that's where we also is equally, uh, equally careful that we want to make sure that that uh, startup becomes successful. No, So that is a mentor program. Angel investment is, is a, Whenever you get a startup, if you like a startup, you just invest and commit there. No? So there, there is no mentoring as such from that long-term mentoring perspective. But what there is that uh, we will, as and when we need help in terms of evaluating startup or startup when they come and then they get invested in our portfolio. Uh, for example, uh, we, we, uh, we are getting some startup in HR tech or, or in the pharma in next, uh, next uh, couple of startups. No? Now, somebody who has got experience in pharma uh, obviously, we would be interested to reach out to them and see how we can help our portfolio company. You know? So that's what uh, will happen in the angel uh, investment. Mentor me, it will be more, more about uh, uh, people who has got some time, uh, at least uh, 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 two to three hours a weekly, uh, and who wants to mentor those startups. I think they can, uh, uh, they can certainly 
uh, write to us. Uh, Girish is leading that uh, mentoring program and uh, he can give you probably more information about it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. thanks sir. So, Sanjay, uh, um, how, 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 how are these you know, investments are protected? What is the governance? Uh, is it uh, protected through the SEBI regulations? Uh, can you throw some light? So, so no, this invest angel investment is not protected from SEBI. There is no regulation from that perspective. You know, that uh, uh, so it's like how you invest in the uh, in any of those uh, uh, shares IPO you buy kind of thing. Right? So there also yeah. uh, there is no protection of money kind of thing. That you only want to make sure that the startup is not doing any malpractices and whatever regulation applies there, the same regulation applies to startup also. That they have to file their uh, annual reports uh, to, the, to the ROC and those things, no? Uh, they also, uh, what we do, one of the in SHA, that shareholder agreement, we, we have a special terms and conditions. So one of the terms, for example, we will say that if uh, we don't want founders to um, uh, sell out their investment after they raise money from us, no? Yeah. Uh, so, so they, they need this SSA agreement that gets defined. It's, there is something called tag along. So, if founder is selling their share, then uh, the we as an investor is right to tag along with him and in, sell our in, uh, share at the same price what founder is selling. No, so we have option to that. So that kind of one protection. No. Okay. Uh, so, so those kind of uh, things gets defined in SSA agreement um, uh, to make sure that uh, investors are getting protected from that perspective. No. Okay. Which, which doesn't happen in the uh, happen in the uh, regular IPO kind of thing. So here we we the SHA defines all the terms and conditions you know, in different scenario how the investor uh, will get uh, 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 how investors uh, money will be protected no or it will be used. Then then another thing uh, we write in SHA for example is that every quarterly they have to share their uh, uh, information. Uh, uh, to all all the investors, no. So that's also becomes part of our legal document. Okay, noted. Yeah. Any more questions? So thanks. We are almost on time. Thanks uh, for joining us, and. Uh, uh, wish you all the best in your angel investment journey. Thank you. 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 Thank you.